Hello and welcome back to my channel, Craft Time by Casey. I am Casey and today these are the chandelier earrings that I will be making and the three patterns that I will be going over. Just about everything you see here came from the Potomac Beads Kit Edition or Treasure Edition bead box. If you are interested in either one of these bead boxes or like me, you're interested in both, then I will have all the information in the description box below. I definitely recommend that you check them out. They have just about everything you could need for the jewelry making hobby. So if you would like to see how these earrings came about and what my thoughts are on these patterns, then stay tuned. let's get right into it. I'm going to start with the tools that I will be using. I have two sets of chain nose pliers, one set of round nose pliers, and one set of industrial cutters. And I want to briefly mention my tool set. It is the Casual Comfort tool set. And just like the name suggests, these tools are so comfortable to use. And one of my favorite things about them is the size. They are very high quality, very well made. They're also just a little bit larger. For whatever reason, a lot of times jewelry making tools, if you get them online or in the store, they are quite a bit smaller, which certainly function. But for me, I just can't imagine using any other tool set now. And you can see the handles, the grips are quite a bit larger as well. So I will have these linked down below along with everything else I use in the video that did not come from the bead box. Another thing I will be using is this chain. I absolutely love this chain and I recommended it in videos before. I love how small it is, but how sturdy it is as well. And it also comes in six different finishes. So this is something I highly recommend. And it's also the reason that I suggested using industrial cutters. Now this chain is small enough that you could probably get away with using your regular jewelry making cutters, but I have sort of made it a habit when I'm cutting a lot of, um, you know, chains and stuff like that, memory wire. I just use my industrial cutters just so that my jewelry making cutters last that much longer. Now with this month's treasure edition, I made a pair of chandelier earrings. And I already have one made and we're gonna make one together. I absolutely love these flower cup beads. They very much look like a gemstone finish and I just think they are beautiful. And then of course with the faceted round beads and the smaller gemstone beads, I just think this turned out beautiful. So we're gonna make this one together. So we're gonna start by making the components across the bottom. I have a ball and pin, and the very simple order is the larger faceted bead underneath and the smaller one above it just like this. And to make a loop, I take my round nose pliers and go just above that top bead and bend it, bend it back with my fingers, go in with my cutters, and then I'm gonna go back in with my round nose and close that loop, just like that. And now you need to make two more of these. All right, so now I have three of these and we're gonna make the smaller one. So very simple, the smaller gemstone bead with the smaller round, and you're gonna make a loop the exact same way with your round nose pliers just above that top bead. Bend it, bend it back with your fingers, go in with your cutters, and close it. So just like that and make one more. All right, so we now have all of our charms. Now we're gonna start connecting everything. And here is the beautiful chandelier component that I will be using, this connector piece. And I have already cut the lengths of chain and the smaller lengths of chain have five links in them and the longer lengths of chain have 10 links in them. So for the whole thing, we're gonna be using these four millimeter jump rings and open it. And you're gonna connect that jump ring to the last link in the chain, just like that. And then you want to connect it to the outer 
loop in that connector and close the jump ring and do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, I went ahead and connected it to the middle one as well, all the same length of chain. So now we'll connect the shorter lengths of chain. So take another four millimeter jump ring and open it. And this one's a little bit more difficult just because it's so short, just like that. And then you're gonna connect it to either one of the inner ones and then close the jump ring and connect the other short one to the opposite side right there. All right, so now we have all the lengths of chain connected and we're gonna connect the components. And another four millimeter jump ring, open it. And for these, you have to connect the opposite last link, just like that. And for the outer one, I'm gonna connect one of the flower bead components and close that jump ring. And for these, you connect them all the exact same way and then you go opposite. So every other one, as you see, is a flower cup bead, and then the smaller components are on the shorter pieces of chain. So we'll meet up when they're all connected. All right, so we have them all connected now. Oh, that is so beautiful. All right, so we're very quickly going to put on the ear wire. And you wanna just take your ear wire, open it just a little, and the component is one way, so you wanna make sure you have it facing the same way. This back here has the kind of grooves on it where it's more smooth in the front. So I'm gonna put it on there and then close it back. All right, so here is the final pair and I absolutely think they are beautiful. Now we're gonna go on to the patterns from the kit edition. So the first pattern that I made was the Brick Stitch Wine Glass Charms. And here they are. I made the two that are in the picture. And if I'm being honest, there was plenty of beads to make more than just these two. And in the video version, which I did watch for this one, in the video version, there are several different patterns and colors that was offered as you know an option so i think these are very cute and i think it's a very unique way to kind of mark a wine glass so that maybe you don't mix it up with somebody else's drink to kind of keep an eye on your own drink or just because it's really nice and really pretty and sometimes it's just nice to add a little flair to something i think these are beautiful now I do think that to me, if I had to pick one, I would pick this one because I think the spread out version of them kind of lays a little bit nicer. I think this is really pretty. However, because of the shape of the circle, when I was trying to make the brick stitch, it kind of leans a little bit. Like you can see it kind of tilts whichever way you have it, which again, doesn't make it any less pretty. <laughs> It's very beautiful. I love the color of seed beads that they chose. Um, but it does kind of tilt down a little bit. And I probably didn't have to make the brick stitch quite so snug. But I, I just think this is really, really pretty. And as far as difficulty, not at all. Not at all. This This was very quick, very simple to make and would be very easy to make several of these. All right, on to the next pattern. So the next pattern that I made is the memory wire bracelet. And here is mine. I made mine one bracelet longer. It looks like in the picture, there's three weight, three times around. And I went ahead and made mine four, you know, just because, because I wanted to. Of course it's three right here, but as you can see, Depends on how you wear it. And then you have the charms on it. I think these are also very, very pretty on either end. And as far as difficulty goes, not at all. This one was probably the fastest one to make. I love making memory wire bracelets. I've made several and I think these beads are pretty. I like these very neutral colors. And I just think this was pretty and simple. And for this one, I did not need the video version. This was very, very simple. All right, on to the last pattern. 
So the last pattern here is the Charm Cluster Necklace. And I have to say, this necklace took me three days. Three days to make. Mainly because I do have another job other than YouTube and I could only put in a couple hours a day. But this necklace has a hundred charms. <laughs> a hundred, one hundred charms. And I made them all. I, I made it exactly as it calls for, as you can see here. And I'm going to go ahead and put a picture in right here. And I'm gonna say making all of these charms was very, very time consuming. <laughs> it was a lot of charms for one piece. And with all of them clustered right here in the front, as it calls for, it is a little bit heavy. It's, it's a little bit bead heavy. And not, I mean, not just visually, I mean, the cluster is part of the design. I think the beads look absolutely beautiful, but it, that part right there is, is pretty heavy to have 100 charms right here in front. But to look at it, it is absolutely beautiful. And it was very much a labor of love. I do think these charms and all of these components around here are just beautiful. I love this color tone, this color palette for all of these beads. They're absolutely beautiful. And if you can see, try to get you in there, every one of these charms was a wrapped, was a wire wrapped loop on the end all hundred of them wire wrapped loop so yes i absolutely think this is beautiful i do love this strand on the outside i think this toggle clasp while very simple is very beautiful very bright and shiny and as far as difficulty to make i would not say that it was very difficult at all i did look at the video version of this just so i could make sure i was making the wire wrapped loops for all of these the way that they're made in the pattern but it, it was not difficult it was not difficult at all it was just very very time consuming <laughs> so yes i think this is very very beautiful all right so now i'm going to try to get them all on the screen all right, so here is everything that I have made. You have the chandelier earrings up here from the treasure edition, plus all three of the patterns from the kit edition. So if you're interested in the kit edition or the treasure edition, or like me, you're interested in both, then I will have all the information in the description box below, and I highly encourage you to check them out. Out. They also have an amazing website that has just about anything you need for the jewelry making hobby. So if you like this video and you want to see other videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and give me a like. Leave a comment. I absolutely love reading my comments. You guys are so, so kind and I definitely look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.